The installation procedure starts with the slinger lifting the precast column by inserting the lifting eyes in the correct sockets at the top of the columns, the correct lifting sockets will be marked with green paint as per Quick's traffic light procedure for precast elements. The slinger will give an acoustic signal to make those around aware of the lift commencing. The push poles will be bolted in the slab and made ready. Spacers will be ready for the column to be placed on. If for any reason a spacer is nor ready, or must be moved, do not place your hand underneath the column. To move it, use a timber or ask the slinger to move the element. Under no circumstance is anyone to hold their hand underneath the load. Once the precast column is near the ground, and within reach, the operatives will stand on two sides of the element while holding the column from the two sides, keeping the feet and hands away from any crush zone. No one is to place their hands underneath the column, nor at the base where the column shoe inserts are. The bolts will be checked prior by the engineers to ensure they are the correct length, and it allows enough space once inserted, for the plate, and not to be placed on the bolt. Two push pulls will be secured on the precast column, on the wider side, with M16 bolts and using an impact gun, and one push pull, on the other side of the column to ensure stability and to allow the element to be properly lined and leveled. Once the column is secured by the push pulls, and fully inserted, you can proceed with placing the plate, and not on the bolt. Two push pulls will be secured on the precast column, on the wider side, with M16 bolts and using an impact gun, and one push pull, on the other side of the column to ensure stability and to allow the element to be properly lined and leveled. Remember, it is never acceptable to place your hand in a crush zone. Start safe, work safe, go home safe.